finally heading back to Road Atlanta for our, our second day. It's supposed to be our fourth day. We got rained out the last two days, so we're finally going to go back. We've got a couple new things to show you, though. We had the new tow rig, the F450. We did a good job, but this does a great job. We have a Freightliner M2 Sport chassis, quad cab, tons and tons of room in this thing. Luckily, I didn't wrap the F450 or the trailer because you know what? We have a new trailer coming too, so stay tuned for that. We still got the uh, Sundowner 53 foot trailer back behind this big tow rig right now. We're keeping the tow rig. We're going to wrap it. We're going to wrap the new trailer, so y'all stay tuned for that. But Thomas, let's show them the cars. You know, they're all nice and tidy in here. Thomas and Cam got these things in here nice and tight. Got them strapped down. We got the Z06 right up front. Nice on the ramp up here. Tied down safely so these cars don't move whatsoever. We have storage in here. We got our, our scooters and our tables and chairs and all other support stuff in there. We got the ZR1 here in the middle. You can't really see it, but underneath the ZR1, we got plenty of storage underneath there as well. Our tents and extra tires are, and wheels and all other kind of stuff under there. And last, but definitely not least, you see it, the STO. The 172 mile an hour STO on the back stretch, which is moving for me. So we're gonna get a little more seat time this week, a little more track time. I think I can touch 180 in this thing. The Z06 hit 161 out there. I think we'll touch 170 this week out there in that. So I'm getting more familiar with these cars. Yeah, I'm not a professional race car driver, but I'm your average Joe is a little better than your average Joe out there on the track. So I feel like we can get some great feedback on these cars of the normal consumer for these cars and go out there, have a little fun, be careful, not wreck these cars, and uh, come back in one piece. So we're going to give you our, our honest reviews out there on the car. We have some new footage coming out this week too uh, from the track. We finally have our comm set up, set up inside. So we'll be able to, to uh, tell you kind of what we're feeling on the track in each one of these cars. What, we like and what we don't like around the track and the different kinds of cars so uh we got some some really really cool content coming up so uh stay tuned and uh hit that like subscribe and share button for us let's go Tyler Fulbright. It did rain here last night, so it looks like they got the truck pretty daggum dry, though. I think I'm going to roll the windows up this time. What do you think? Yeah, I would. The audio. Yeah. Let's go. Here we go. Got to get the tires warm before we start cranking on it. Everybody's under that impression of getting the tires warm before we come out here hammer. right there. <laughs> Tires are still cold. He 
these guys want to come out here and just hammer this thing the very first lap out here. It's like, come on, get the tires when They know the track's cold. They know there's no rubber on the track. But they want to come out here and just haul ass. I'm going to haul ass with the best of them, too, but I want to be a little safer. guys up right there on that back straight away we got a uh, is this a Maserati in front of us looks like it yep Maserati and there's a little Honda Civic Type R we got a Porsche behind us I may let this Porsche go I don't really want to push it too much on this first couple of laps are a little warmer now. We got a little more grip now. Passion the Civic. Did not see me coming around on his right. Oh shit. Oh shit. Open wheel cars going really slow. Here we go. Hopefully we get to pass these two right here. Come on, let me go, Porsche, let me go. Let me go, Porsche. Let me get by you now. Here we go. Turn one's grippy now. We can start hammering a little more. Feel a little more confident. Set up for the asses. Come on, car. Let's go, Porsche. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, Porsche. Hammer through the asses. Let's go. Hammer. There we go, Porsche. Shit. Lost grip through there. Thank you. You feel me pushing through there when I was on the brakes? Tom? Yeah, I saw that. That was not fun. We're sliding a little too much for my liking. I don't remember the blue. Me either. As long as it's not black. Yep. Or yellow. Yeah. Or red. <laughs> We're getting better there. Eleven's so freaking scary. Missed the shift. That's fine, we'll make it up. 
Hit for the tree, to the left of the tree. Set up for the S's. Hit the rumble strip. Hang it wide. That Porsche is going to catch me. Come on, Porsche. You're going to pass me, pass me. Come on. Come on. He's getting it in that Porsche right there. Oh, yeah. I'd like to see if I can keep up with him. He can drive, too. scares the fuck out of me. <laughs> Can't imagine doing that turn on a motorcycle. No! That Viper's about to get out of the way. Viper. He's really good to that turn right there. Should have now shifted. Missed a shift right there. The back stretch. Porsche will leave us a little bit right here. That GT3 is flying. That is not a stock GT3 right there. So we would be eating his lunch on this back stretch, but we are not. Coming down to turn A, 10A. 10A, 10B. Hard braking zone right here. Hard left, set up, hard right. Come over 11, the scariest turn ever known to man. See nothing but grass. Set it up, come on the front stretch out there where you get to just open it up. Almost missed a shift, but it didn't. This guy on this Porsche can drive. He's a great person to follow out here if you didn't know this track as well. This I won't buy a little bit right there. up in here a little bit. Yeah. Came out of that corner good there. Let's go catch these guys now. I'm not getting enough hands behind me. Touch 150 right there. Hard breaking zone again. Hard breaking zone. 10A. These guys can get through 10A and 10B better than I can. I still can't. 
I'm not that good there yet. Just to shift again, I need to open these windows. Forty-six, twelve, lap time. Am I allowed to open one so it defogs? They don't want us to. Uh, come on. Let's go catch these guys. I think we can catch them, aren't you, Thomas? Mm-hmm. Here we go through the S's. Set this up. Hammer at the bottom. Hard brake. Roll back on top, stay with six. Hammer down. Hammer down. Caught some car now.
brakes right up here a while ago and it was pushing, pushing hard to see the sick. This thing pushes. Yeah. That was light. Because there was just no grip in the tires. Clouds are out too. Yeah. Heard that supercharger. Yep. Really don't want to hammer on it yet. Lap two, I'm good with it. All, all these cats pass me. Too.
break by the guy up front. Yeah. It's grip now. Okay. That was a good break right there. track for the first time we're gonna get these tires hot before we come out here and hit this thing though we might even let this Maserati get past us hang 
Taking us out through the S's, down to the chicane. <laughs> Here we go. Gotta get gripping these tires before we can really brake on it hard. Come on, Durantures, though. Come by me. I'm gonna get these tires one. I'd rather chase somebody right now. Steering well up, I can't see my tachometer. These tires are grippy though. Here we go. Let's go, ZR1. Boom, 120. 135. That was an easy 135. Come on. I'm a little press. Come on. 755 supercharged. This is where I lost brakes in the STO. Oh, shit. I was doing 170 <laughs> right here. I was cooking. There you go. Oh, that was smooth. Come on. Watch this hill right here. Scared the shit out of you. Can't see nothing. Oh, shit. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? So I'm talking about it. It scares the hell out of shit. Oh, we see. We got gripping these stars. Here we go. Damn that damn fucking BMW's behind me already again. I got out there a little too far. I was running 143s in the Z06, it just hit 150 in this thing. We just got the cars unloaded back from the track. It was an eventful day. Hey, we had a lot of highs, we had a lot of lows. A lot of lows. <laughs> First time out in the uh, Freightliner tow rig, which she's already on to the next owner already. Yeah, it was struggled. just... We struggled on the way it back. It was slow. It was slow. And then it wasn't stopping. We were, it wasn't we, stopping. We, we, we were struggling. We fixed. But it just, it pulled great, but it just pulled slow. It did. We don't like going slow. We don't like going slow. We like going fast on the track. Yeah. And fast on the street. Yeah, on the, and on the interstate. Yeah, we need that. I mean, it was just painfully. For sure. Painfully For sure. slow. But once we got to the track, hopefully Thomas is going to throw this in a video. I mean, I was out there beating it in the, in the Z06. Thomas is in the passenger seat. Had the little DJI Action 4 camera trying to get a little... Live action, <laughs> he, and we got some action. Camera. Yeah, we, we got, he got some action for we sure. We got some action with Thomas. You better put that in the video, is all I'm saying. <laughs> it better be in there. Because Thomas is, I'm looking over, I'm driving, I'm, I'm a wheel man, I'm there wheeling, you know, 150, 160. I'm looking over there and Thomas is going like this. <laughs> He's going like this. I'm like, I'm talking in our comm system. I was like, Thomas, you okay? <laughs> no response. <laughs> Zero response. Tom, Thomas, you okay? I look again, he's head bobbing again. No. <laughs> what do you need me to do? He's like, 
He said, like, we need to roll the windows down. I was like, it's hot in here. I was like, all right, so roll the windows down. I was like, do we need to pull over? Yeah. <laughs> all right, Tom, let's pull over. Thomas made it all the way back to the pits before he hurled into a giant Elmer's trash can that he almost filled up. I know. I was chilling in the truck, and I looked over because I was like, they kind of back a little early. You know, y'all was gone like five, ten minutes. I looked yeah. over, Thomas, Ugh. He was right hurling. outside the window. Early. So hopefully, YouTube, y'all get to see that. I don't, Thomas is the editor as well, so who knows <laughs> if he's going to throw that in and throw his, his, uh, his scene in there, his 10 minutes of fame in there or not. Hopefully he does, but it was, uh, it was great. So we got back. We switched to the next session. We swapped to the STO over here. You see her. She's tucked in over here right now, and I was beating it out there again. Just getting it. Cam rode with me that time. Cam's in the car with me. We're getting around. She's turning. We got the tires hot. Next thing you know, we're coming on the back stretch around Road Atlanta. We're touching 160, 165 back there, lap three. So tires are just getting grippy. Next thing you know, we're coming over the hill, <laughs> coming down to the 10A. I'm touching 160, and I got no brakes. Straight to the floor with the pedal. No brakes. <laughs> and there's only one thing to say. Shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> so I'm like, panic. I didn't yeah. panic. I was under control. Figured it out. I was like, all right. Downshifted. Just get a slow down, kind of kind of trying to swerve just a little bit to get some more traction on those front tires, trying to pump the brakes, trying to pump some fluid in there. Right. Finally got it just enough to get through 10A. I was coming in hot through 10A and 10B there, but we didn't wreck. Didn't wreck. That's there's pebbles there. So if we, do, if we do lose brakes, that's where you want to lose it is right, right there because right. there's pebbles down there. Right. But that's that, no fun. That is, that, that's not fun at all. And that made me question if I wanted to get in any other car. Brake wasn't even going to come in. I wasn't going to get in. He wasn't even going to get in. It didn't I matter what car. Was, I definitely wasn't getting in the car with no brakes. He, he didn't give a shit what, <laughs> what car he was getting in. If there was no brakes, he just said, I didn't want to get in the car. It was, it was Thomas throwing up, and then it was no, no brakes. No brakes. I was like, I don't know what the hell is going to happen in the third, third car, but I don't want to be a part of it. Third time's a charm. But the we third time was a charm. Yeah, we didn't have any problems with the, with the zero. We took the car that started it out. Started this madness. She might have been the best one on the track. Man, I was a little nervous taking that car. I don't know okay. if you noticed it. I don't even if I told you or not. I've never tracked this car. I've never yeah. really hauled ass in this car other than just straight line stuff. R right. I've never been on some curves stuff. But it's the C7ZR1 front engine is completely different setup than all these mid engines that we have now. So I was a little bit nervous. I, I was ready to eager to see what it can do. But like, right. you know, when you get out on the track, we're in the sport mode or sport division. It's go. It's go. It's just go time. There's no like testing. Yeah, it ain't we're not test. testing out. It's just exactly. It's balls to the wall. It's go. You hit the it, gas and go. It held up. It held Man, up. Man, she performed great. It hooked. We got the uh, the R triple eights on this car. It would just man. It would get into those turns. It was a little different. A little getting used to. A little slower lap times than the Z06, but I think it's just because I'm more comfortable in the Z06. Right. I think I will hit the lap times in this car. That I did, but it's just got you know 100, 150 more horsepower than that Z06 because them straightaways were yeah, fun. Yeah. Doesn't rev as high. I think we're at 7,500, 7,000 RPMs versus 8,500 in the Z06. So completely different sound, driving. It's right. completely different car. Was that the, which one was the fastest? The Z06 was the fastest. Beat, I think. Beat the STO and the ZR1. Beat the STO and the ZR1. And then yeah. it was the STO. Then the STO. Oh, then okay, the so ZR1. Was, yeah. Gotcha. So we uh, we did purchase one of these new. Uh, if you saw it in the car, that new Garmin piece. So yeah, it yeah. kind of gives us like, you know, ideal track conditions, ideal track um, routes and things like that. Plus gives us our lap times and things like that. So yeah. out there, like, again, I'm your average Joe. I am not a professional race car driver. Right. I think I'm better than most. But this one here touched uh, 143 out there and the uh, minute 43 seconds. And then the Z06, I think we're at 138, 139. So we'll, uh, we're going to put all those videos up too. So make sure you all look at that. But we got something coming up. What we got? Talk to me. <laughs> so I said earlier that the new white tow rig left. Right. So we had to have something. You gotta have something. Bought a new tow rig. Bought a 2012 Freightliner M2 112. Okay, 112 okay, okay. gives me 505 horsepower, Detroit diesel. Yeah. We're gonna be able to pull, oh, we're gonna be going fast. We pull, but not only that. And we got the new trailer. New trailer. Have they seen the trailer? I don't think we've shot the trailer yet. But okay. today, I'm not going to get to see the trailer. Yeah. You don't know why? Well. We bought another trailer. <laughs> we bought a 
We go bigger, go bigger. Go bigger, go bigger. We don't go home. Yeah, go bigger, go bigger. But we also have added a fourth car to our track fleet. Oh yeah, it's coming soon. That we're picking up this weekend, along with the new trailer. We have picked up a 2016 Porsche GT3 RS. Mm. RS, too. straight track car. Mm. Straight track. She may might. get on the program to rent. We don't know yet. We're, we're debating on out. that. We might just gut it out and really make it a track, track car. car. Straight track car. Straight track. We also picked up a four car stacker. It's mm. a 48 foot four car stacker. So we can take four cars to the track now. All of our tents, all of our tires, all of our generators, all of our equipment. That's going to be crazy. All of our scooters. We're going to show you these scooters in a minute. They're, they're nasty. Yeah. We can take all four with a new tow truck and get there in a hurry. Get there in a hurry. We are going to Virginia in, I think, like two and a half weeks. We go to Virginia race, so we're going to take all four cars. That's going to be nice. With a new tow rig. Yeah. And I think we're taking the motor home, too, so we got to find somewhere to sleep. We can't all sleep in a tow truck. <laughs> so we're going to take the motor home, too. Let's do it. So, recap. Z06 still probably my favorite car on the track because I'm the most comfortable in it. STO is definitely the fastest on the straightaways on the track, but it's surprising I'm getting more and more comfortable in the curves with this car, in the turns. Uh, I would say I'm gonna, the STO is going to be the fastest on the track next week or two, mm -hmm. I think, it, well, the next track day or so. And then the ZR1, my baby. Just getting warmed up. Just getting warmed up. Just getting started. But it was fun. Though. But it was fun. Was whipping fun. that bitch out on yeah. the side, like ripping the, yeah, the rear fun. end around. and Man, it's fun. But they look mean sitting here, though. Mm -hmm. They look mean, mean. So we got some more track stuff coming up for you. We hope you like it. Uh, comment, let us know what you want to see more of on the track. Hey, and if you've got a car that you want to see perform on the track, send us a message. Send us a DM. We might be able to get your car on the track. I will be the driver, average Joe driver, and I'll give you my opinion of what we like. I've driven everything. After the Porsche gets on the track, we've driven the, the three or four best track cars out there, street track cars that are out there. For sure. So send us a message if you want us to put that car on the track for you. I can drive it. Brake and ride with me. We can give you our opinions on it, let you know what we like, what we don't like. Uh... But yeah, let us know what you what you want to see at the track. What do you want to see? Do you want to see us like hauling ass on our scooters and stuff? Hey, we even got custom helmets we now for our custom, scooters. We got, we got yelled at at the track for not having helmets, so we got helmets now. For sure. We're not we're not going around that again. Yeah. We got helmets. We got it all. I got a new race suit coming. <laughs> got new shoes coming. You're gonna you're gonna be looking the whole part. Hey, we're gonna be the part, look the part. For sure. So, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit we're that still, share we're still button trying too. to reach 100,000 subscribers when we get there. Hey, we're getting there. I think we're like 3,500 right now, so we got hey, some traction right now. We got some traction. Hey, keep growing it, and, and we'll, we'll show you all what we're going to give away. Yeah, let's do it.